part two of Rat Girl Tutorials. This is the inking phase. Now this is where it gets tricky. Make sure that you save as soon as you're done with your sketch. You're going to go to image and you're going to choose image size. We're going to double the size of our canvas. So go to percent in the drop down menu, go to 200%. That will double the size of our canvas. The reason we're doing that, since we are freehanding this drawing, I'm, I'm teaching freehand ink and what you'd want to do. You're going to want to have it a little bit bigger so that any minute uh, wiggles or um, differences in the line that you might get won't be so apparent when you shrink it back down. Now at this point you are free to put it back to black. You might want to change the, uh, the layer coloring later depending on if you like it all black or not on the lines, but uh, black is definitely a good one to, uh, to use when you're doing So on the size, I was working in 3 pixel before, I'm going to move it up to 5 since we are dealing with a larger canvas again. Another thing that you want to turn off in your settings is the opacity. Unless you don't mind having lesser opacity on one part or another, I suggest that you do have it off. That way it will default to 100% opacity. Your flow, on the other hand, can stay on, which will help with your line thickness. Okay, all my settings are ready. Again, we are working with the brush tool, not the ink pen. The ink pen is a little too much tweening for me to uh, deal with. So what this tutorial is going to show is my preference and inking whenever I ink in Photoshop, which is freehand raster inking with the brush tool. So for freehand inking, if you don't like a line, you can just do a control Z on your keyboard, which is an undo. As you can see on the right side, I do have the history bar open. All I do is go up in the history and, and erase those lines I really don't care for. A note on the history bar though, you want to make sure that you're not letting it go too long. The history bar only keeps so much in its memory banks, so if you do wait too long, odds are you won't be able to undo it. If you have some lines that you want to manually uh, lessen later, you can always go in and edge it off and chisel the uh, edges with an eraser. Sometimes I actually do that as well. Right now I am still at 100% size of our canvas. At certain points of the inking process, you may actually see me zoom in to 200%, sometimes even 300%. Um, the reason being is though, even though we will be shrinking this down, it still might be too large of a gesture for me to um, capture all at once. So instead, I'll go in and uh, try to nail it bit by bit. Not going exactly on my sketch. Again, it was a sketch, so it was just kind of the, the main gestures were laid out on many of these. Now I'm going to go through and really clean it up and make it a little bit more fuzzy than before. <laughs> Finishing up the uh, the end 
notes here. I might go in a little bit and uh, fix a couple of the lines, add a couple of dashes here and there of detailing. But more or less, it's finished. There's an eyeball picture next to the sketch layer. Go ahead and touch that and it will remove your sketch from view. And here we have it. A finished inked bunny. In the next section we'll be moving on to flat colors.